Hi, I'm John Gann, Director of Software Development at Chesapeake Technology. Here at CTI, we are very driven to continuously roll out new updates to our sonar mapping software, SonarWiz. This short video highlights some recent enhancements to the SonarWiz sub-bottom visualization tools. The Boomer data I'm using was collected by a long-term SonarWiz user, Dave King, at Marine and Earth Sciences in Brisbane, using SonarWiz with our 24-bit A to D converter. I've set up a small project with three of the four kilometer lines that Dave shared with us. When working with bipolar seismic data, customers requested a way to distinguish the positive and negative portions of the reflection waveform. To address this requirement, we've implemented some new color palettes and logic for controlling the way colors are assigned to amplitude values in the SonarWiz sub-bottom profile displays. In post-processing, it all starts with the sub-bottom file import dialog where you can now direct SonarWiz to treat the data as a bipolar signed waveform, like you might expect with a Boomer, Sparker, Pinger, or other analog sources. Or you can tell SonarWiz that the data is an unsigned, all positive waveform, like you'd expect from a chirp subbottom. The next couple of images show grayscale options. Using the Preferences option under the Appearance tab of the subbottom digitizer window, you can set the display to show the positive only waveform, which colors the peaks in blue, or the negative waveform, which colors the troughs as red, and the full waveform to show both the peaks and troughs in the same view. Thanks for watching. If you're curious, please try the free download from our support site. If you'd like to learn more, follow our YouTube channel or join our next training session in Seattle, Washington in December 2016. You can learn more about that session at chesapeaketech.com.